What's good, Team CP9? It's your boy Pinocchio oh, Nobi. Boy. This is just some more hard point pro tips, and yeah, I have some more in depth tips on how to play this game type that we've all just been introduced to last week. And yeah, hopefully, you guys can benefit from this video. So, I made a video a few days ago talking about hard point and how you can play like a stud on it and how you can do well. You know, talking about some kind of score streaks you can run, perks, and stuff like that. And I'm here to go in more depth on how to do well in hardpoint, especially in a team, you know, in, when you're in a party with your friends and stuff like that. So, um, if you didn't see the last video, I'll annotate it on the screen right now. You should definitely go watch that one first. Uh, basically, I talk about primarily about how you should be running stuff like Bouncing Betties and uh, Shock Charges. And uh, for score streaks, use stuff like the Guardian, UAV, just so you know you can limit the places where the enemies can come from, and also you can see where they're coming from. But in this video, I'm going to talk about actual in-game strategies. So, uh, in Hardpoint, it's Hardpoint is much like a refined version of Drop Zone for Modern Warfare 3. Uh, let's say you have 10 players on the Drop Zone in Modern Warfare 3, the score will go up for it'll go up faster for more players that you have on the drop zone but in uh in hardpoint it's not like that the way it works is it only goes up if you have one player on it if you even if you have the whole team on the hardpoint the score is still gonna go up by one point per second so what that means is there's no point of having the whole team on the drop zone what you want to have is at least one person on the drop zone, which is me right now, I'm that person. And I'm actually running the riot shield or the assault shield, which can be good and it can be bad. I'm also using overkill, which means I do have a secondary, which is a primary. And I am able to protect the drop zone pretty well. And I'm also, look at the kill streaks that I'm running. I'm using the, uh, I'm using the guardian, I'm using lightning strike, and I'm using the sentry gun for maximal protection. And I'm also using two bouncing betties, and I'm using two shock charges, which means I'm able to protect the hard point very efficiently on my own. Now, what do you want your teammates to do? What you want your teammates to do is to surround the hard point. Not exactly be inside the hard point, but you want them to be around the entry points that lead to the hard point. That way, they're somewhat protecting you, but if an enemy does happen to get inside, you can kill them because you're ready. You have everything that you need. You have your guardian. You have your shock charge. You have your bouncing betty. They have no way of killing you. So um, that's pretty much the strategy, really. You don't need more than one person in the freaking hard point. <laughs> it's just not needed because the points on the scoreboard aren't going to go up more than they do if you have one person on it. Now let's say the enemy are really good and they're super aggressive in their attempt to take over the hard point. They're just rushing, pushing up really hard, just they just keep getting into the hard point. In that situation, maybe you might want more than one player in the hard point just to help you out in defending it. Because if it's just you and the whole team keeps pushing into the hard point, definitely you might need some assistance in defending it. So maybe in that situation, maybe have two players in the hard point instead of one. Now once you're in the hard point itself, make sure you set up camp. Because that's essentially what you're going to do. You're going to camp and wait for the enemies to come to you. Because you can't rush when you're in the, in the hard point. That's just silly. You can't rush when you're in the hard point. Remember that. You're defending the hard point. You're not rushing the hard point. So basically what you want to do is throw down your shock charges in front of the entry points. Not on the entry points, in front of the entry points. The reason for that is because let's say you throw your shock charge uh, 10 feet in front of a door. If they set it off, you're going to know ahead of time, okay, there's a guy coming from that door right there and I should get ready to kill him once he steps through that door. The mistake that people make is that they put their defensive stuff on the door itself. And what that does is once a person walks past it and they get shocked, they still have a chance of killing you if they're looking in your, in your direction. But if you put the shock charge or the bouncing betty ahead of the door, you know, once it goes off and if it doesn't kill them, you know, you still have a chance to react, get ready to aim at that door so when they walk through it, you can just drill them with bullets. Now that leads me to my second point. Learn the entry points to each hard point on every map. Now this hard point in particular that I'm at right now 
It's very hard to defend because it's in the center of the map. They can literally shoot me from any direction, which is very difficult to defend from. But luckily I have a sentry gun, I have a guardian, I have some bouncing buddies, I have some shock charges. So I'm kind of well defended and I also have teammates around me who are also protecting me. And I have an assault shield. So in this situation I'm kind of well protected but let's say I didn't have any of these things. My teammates, I didn't know who they were, randomers, I didn't have a sentry gun, I didn't have a guardian. I would be pretty damn screwed because they could shoot me from my back, my left, my right, in front of me. But if you saw the hard point before this, the one that was underground, there's actually only two ways to get to that hard point, which is much easier to defend because you know that, hey, okay, there's only two ways for the enemies to come to me. Um, you know, I can defend this place pretty well, as opposed to the one I was just at where they can attack me from any, any direction that they want to. So um, basically what I'm trying to say is learn how p enemies can get into different hard points on different maps so you can like prepare yourself better you can put your bouncing beddies near those places and yeah you can just defend it much better that leads me to my second point is if you're playing a party have your teammates run bouncing betty and chalk charges also just so they can just throw it down and then just go on with their slaying because essentially that's all they're doing that's all they have to do is just slay just kill the enemy kill them kill them kill them get their score streaks just keep killing them they don't even have to play the objective to be honest but if you have them run the shock charge and the bouncing betty it's much better for you because they can just throw it down near where you're defending the hard point and um, it will help you because they can let you know when an enemy is approaching and this is another tip that I like to use if you throw down the shock charge and you throw down the bouncing betty, they have less chance of avoiding the bouncing betty. Because, you know, with the bouncing betty, if you go prone, it doesn't kill you. But if you get shocked first and then you get bouncing betty, there's less chance you're going to avoid that bouncing betty. So, just a tip if you want to try, you can throw a shock charge and a bouncing betty together and it will kill them every time, unless they're using engineer. Which leads me to my next point definitely have a second class that has engineer and EMP grenades. The reason I say this is because let's say the enemy are an organized team and they're doing exactly what you're doing. They're gonna have guardians, they're gonna have sentry guns, they're gonna have all that crap on the hard point and you're not gonna be able to get in unless you have EMP grenades and you have engineer which will let you see where those things are through walls and stuff. So um, just in case they do the same thing that you're doing, at least you have a class that has the stuff that you need to counter those things. So you just throw an EMP grenade in there, it'll destroy all their equipment, and then you can go in and breach and kill them and take over the hard point. My next point is learn the rotation of the hard points. Every single map has a rotation of hard points which is the same every single time. It's not like the hard points are random and it's a random room every single time, no. It's the same places at the same time every single time. So let's say you play um, on this map, uh, Hijacked, it's always going to start off in the middle and then it, starts, it goes to a second place. So basically, you know ahead of time, if you play hardpoint a lot, you're going to know ahead of time where the first hardpoint is, where the second hardpoint is, where the third hardpoint is, and so on and so on. Every single map in this game has between three and four different hard points so if you know if you play a lot of hard point you're gonna know where the next one is so ahead of time when there's like only five seconds left before the next hard point shows up you can run there ahead of time and set up base before the enemy even knows where it is so just a tip remember where the new hard points are gonna be it's gonna help you out a lot and that's pretty much it for me Pinochinobi signing out I know you guys found something new in this video so give me a like if you like this video Pinochinobi signing out peace